Hey guys, today we're talking about music and you're also going to see why this car is so damn dirty. <laughs> these were some pretty epic sunset shots, right? So we captured all of these shots yesterday on the island when I was still with Gabriel here. We're just right now on the Greek islands called Milos and to be honest, the landscape here is absolutely amazing. And also on top of that, half of the island are just dirt roads, which is freaking amazing to be honest. But anyways, let's get to the topic. One thing I absolutely love about creating films is that it combines many different art forms at the same time. To make a great movie, you have to have a good story, you have to have captivating visuals and a fitting soundtrack, or if you would say so, you have to have the elements of text, video and audio. And only those three together can really make a great movie. And while I got a lot better at scripting my videos and filming them, I still suck at making music. I mean, you can't be good at everything, right? If you feel like you're in the same situation as me, you basically have two options. Number one, you either hire a composer who creates a specific piece just for the video that you created, but most of the time this is super expensive. Or option two, you use one of the many different music licensing platforms which are out there, and this version is a lot cheaper, and you also have access to hundreds of thousands of different songs from different artists. <laughs> well, I guess you already know which of these two options I chose. Obviously, I'm using music licensing platforms to get my music for those videos and also for client projects and today I want to talk with you about where I get my music from I'm going to tell you my strategy on how to find the perfect song and in the end I'm also going to compare the three major music licensing platforms in order to give you a good overview of which one you should use so let's go So over the past seven years of my filmmaking career, I've been using many different platforms when it comes to music. In my opinion, there are only three major music sites which can be taken seriously for professional filmmakers, and that are Musicbed, Artlist and Epidemic Sound. All the others either offer just music in one specific niche, don't really compare in the quality to the other three, or they offer outdated, royalty-free elevator music. So I've been testing them all out, but I myself definitely stuck with Artlist just because I like their music the most, I like their platform, and also almost every single song which I use for my YouTube videos comes from Artlist. On top of that, I'm happy to say that this video is sponsored by Artlist, so I'm working together with them, but I also want to let you know that my opinion about these music platforms is not really biased because, as I just told you, I tried out all the different ones. I'm also not obligated to use just Artlist songs for my videos. 
So now I'm going to show you how to find the perfect song for any video. In my case, I'm obviously using Artlist and I'm going to give you a short walkthrough of the platform. So before I even start searching for a song, I just go in my editing software and just look through all of the footage to get a good overview. And I'm asking myself a couple of questions. What kind of mood do I want to transport with my video? Should it be very epic and dramatic or should it be more funny or should it be peaceful and relaxing? What kind of moods do I really want to create for the viewer? The second question I ask myself is how fast does my song need to be? What kind of pace fits to the scene and how many cuts do I want to make within the sequence? And the last question is what song structure do I need to make my video work? So am I looking for a slow build up where the tension just rises or am I looking for a surprising drop that nobody expects? So yeah, these are the questions which I ask myself before I even start browsing through songs. Okay, so on Artlist it works like that. On the left side and on the top right corner you have different filter options to choose from. But I myself mostly use the filters of mood, genre and tempo. Let's take my Mallorca drone video as an example. So I knew beforehand that I wanted to create a very powerful and epic mood. And therefore I chose those filters under the mood section. I felt like a classical orchestra song would probably fit the best to those shots because it were just huge landscapes which yeah just seem super impressive and in my opinion classical music is pretty epic. <laughs> so I also applied the filter classic under genre. I knew that the pace of the song couldn't be too fast because I wanted to show a couple of drone shots for more than one or two seconds because they were just epic. And on the other hand, I also couldn't choose a song which was too slow because it can get boring quite fast if you just watch drone landscape videos. So that's why I chose the tempo of medium. So yeah, then I had all of the different search results which already gave me a pretty good music selection out of the whole library just regarding all of the filters that I applied. And then I usually look at the waveform of each song because it can already tell you quite a lot about the structure. If a song starts really quietly and then rises up slowly and builds up to the peak or if it just has uh, a drop right from the beginning. So yeah, I knew that I wanted to build up some kind of tension. So I just looked for those kind of songs. And from there, I just listened through all of the different songs and I found one which just fit perfectly within just 10 minutes or something like that. Obviously, searching for a specific song like this doesn't always work that fast. And therefore, in order to save time, I created my own collections where I save my favorite songs for each individual mood, genre or video theme. If I'm searching for a specific song, obviously I'm listening to a lot of different music and most of the time I find a couple of songs which I really like, but they don't fit the video which I'm searching for 100%. So with these songs, I just save them in my collections because I could probably use them in one of my future videos and I already have pre-selected them then. It also makes sense to just sit down for a couple of hours and just only search to build up your collections because then you have like a pre-selected music library for yourself which fits your taste of music and you can always go to this small collection library if you're looking for a new song and most of the time you will find a song which fits your video without wasting hours of time. Another good way to search for new songs is to browse through the spotlight collections on Artlist which often include a lot of good songs with a similar theme. So yeah, this is the strategy which I usually use to find music for my videos. And yeah, now I would say we get out of this place and on some normal roads again. Alright, so as I said, I currently use songs from Artlist on all of my YouTube videos, but on top of that, I also use it for most of my paid client projects. I truly think that Artlist is the best platform for ongoing filmmakers that's currently out there, and there are a couple of reasons for this. So the first reason is that they have an all-in-one music license, which none of the other platforms really has. So basically that means that you can use their music on any kind of video project, no matter if it is a YouTube video, a commercial, a cinema movie, a podcast, a TV show, everything you just imagine. <laughs> on their website, Artlist even says that they're going to cover any future platform as well. 
If we look at the pricing of the three major music licensing platforms, which is Artlist, Musicbed and Epidemic Sound, you can clearly see that Artlist offers the cheapest subscription plan. So basically, if you want to have access to the full music library of Artlist with unlimited licenses, you pay $16.60. If you want to have access to their sound effects library, you pay $12.41. And if you take both of them together, then you pay $25. I can't really give any feedback about the sound effects library because I mostly use my own library which I accumulated over the last years so yeah I don't really have an opinion about it but I'm sure gonna check it out in the next couple of months. On Epidemic Sound and Music Bad they offer three different subscription plans. One is personal, one is commercial and one is if you are an enterprise and if you want to publish on TV or cinema. So you have to get a quote for that which is probably super expensive. And while their different plans are more expensive than the one of Artlist, they still have some limitations to them like for example only up to 50k subscribers if you monetize your YouTube channel or something like only small clients up to 250 employees which are just yeah kind of weird limitations that I don't really need. So yeah to sum it up Artlist has by far the cheapest subscription plan if you choose to use your music both personally and commercially. If you already are or about to become a YouTuber like myself at some point in the future you will want to monetize your videos in order to earn YouTube revenue. So if you upload a video to YouTube with some music which you don't earn the rights to, then your video will get flagged and you will get a copyright claim and therefore you can't monetize your video. And the cool thing about Artlist is that all of the songs on their library are already cleared with YouTube. So all of your videos that you upload won't get flagged. So they will be clean right away from the beginning. So yeah, these are the reasons why I chose to use Artlist as my main music platform. Because yeah, I feel like Artlist, they just get us creators and they try to keep the whole service as simple as possible. They have an all-in-one license, they have a really easy to use and well-designed platform and on top of that they're also the cheapest of them all. If you're currently looking for a music platform for your videos or if you're thinking about switching from another platform, you can find an affiliate link in the description to Artlist where you can sign up and if you sign up through my link then you will get two free months on top of your normal subscription and on my end I will also get a small commission which would be great. Consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and turn on the notifications if you don't want to miss out on any of the upcoming videos. I wish all of you a great day and I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Peace out, goodbye. I think I don't need to clean this car anymore. <laughs> Holy